Welcome to Sunbelt Football on ESPN+. Plus. It's an absolutely gorgeous day for football here in Troy, Alabama, as the host Trojans place their 12-game Sunbelt Conference winning streak on the line against the Bobcats from Texas State. Sidney Davis with his 31st catch of the year. That's third best on the team. And here's the completion to Davis again. Two straight completions and a first down for the Trojans. One of the best kick returners in the country last year, so I'm sure that'll serve him well. Third and long, and there's B.J. Smith into the secondary, down to the nine, and another first down for Troy. It'll be a 36-yard attempt off the hold of Luke Whittemore, and Troy scores first. What a year Sumter is having, the sophomore out of Hoover. Attack, especially on the ground for Georgia Southern. Vitt up top to the end zone, picked off by Rooker. And Rooker takes it back out to the 16-yard line, and there's that Troy defense, those all-important takeaways. But he's on the ground, I know that. Pickup of only two, Vitt up top. Picked off by Rooker again. Sidarius Rooker with his second pick of the afternoon, and that stops a second straight drive for Texas State. Glad you're spending your Saturday afternoon with us. And B.J. Smith picks up 11 yards on first down into Texas State territory. It's 15 to get a first down. Smith, they go right back to it, and this time it's caught by Davis, pickup of 13. So this will be a 46-yard attempt for Tyler Sumter, the two-time Sunbelt Conference Special Teams Player of the Week. And right on cue, Tyler Sumter. He's two for two today. He's 15 of 20 on the year. A couple of deep ones. Vid under pressure, picked off yes, Hunter who? Reese. And Hunter Reese always seems to be at the right place at the right time. I don't. I think you can watch football for 100 years and not see a screen pass played better than Hunter Reese played this one. He's going to bait the throw and then intercept it. Well, the screen's set up. They're going to come off a play fake and try to dump it to the right. You know, Reese really baited the throw, and then was that a one-handed catch we saw there? Pretty darn impressive. And Sumter with a hat trick here in the first half. Three field goals for Tyler Sumter. Nine nothing Trojans. Third down and short. Vitt's going to go up top, and it's intercepted by Troy. That's Tyler Murray with the pick. Four INTs in the first half by Troy's defense. To their preparations, he thought his team would be ready. And they have played. Let's see if they can make a play offensively. Vitt, long one, another interception. Another pick. This one is Blaze Brown. He's got 12 career interceptions. Came in averaging just over four and a half yards a carry in 24 rushes. Troy keeping it on the ground. That's B.J. Smith down to the 36-yard line and a first down for Troy. 42 yards in the second quarter. This one will be a 27-yard attempt. And Tyler Sumter is now four for four, kicking field goals today. Vitt has the man wide open, caught by Mason Hayes, and Hayes takes it down near the goal line. Hayes and boy, Texas State is set up. And a touchdown for Texas State. That's Taylor. And it's a one-score game with 9-10 left. Showing blitz for Reese. Vitt is going to go down. And a sack. This Troy defense, one of the top sackers of the country. They're sixth in the country starting the day with 34, and that's a big one right there. Well, this is just four-man pressure. Is that silo that has the sack right there? They drop in coverage. They have everything well defended and just nowhere to go with the ball, and the pocket collapses in here, and it's incomplete. It's going to stop the clock and basically give them an extra timeout. 
Good play call here, and Sawyer Smith not only gets the clock keep running, but he gets a first down. So let's just give it to the quarterback and let him run for a first down. That's and there is every coach's favorite formation. The old victory sneak. Well, it was not pretty, but it is a W, as they say. For Texas State, I think really a lot to, to be proud of, a valiant effort. And for Neil Brown, that's now 30 wins over the last three seasons. That's the most by a group of five team. And now they survived, and now they look ahead to next week, and it's going to be an interesting week getting ready for the Mountaineers of App State.